Hello, this is Anub Raman from atechjourney.com. In this video, I'll show you how to remove Google Redirect Virus manually from your computer. Before going into further details, uh, let me give you a small introduction about myself. Uh, I've been in the IT industry for almost 10 years. I specialize in removing uh, computer infections manually from the computer without using any security software. I've written a book on this topic, uh, Virus Removal Secrets Revealed and uh, maybe I might uh, talk more about that in another video. Uh, Google Redirect Virus uh, is one of the toughest infection that I ever encountered in my career. And uh, in this video, I'll do my best to explain how exactly the step-by-step -step procedure on how to remove the Google Redirect Virus from your computer. The first step in any virus removal is to make sure that you are able to see all hidden files inside your computer. In order to do that, click on Start, click on Run. In the Run window, type the command Control Space Folders and hit Enter. It will open up the Folder Options window. Now you need to click on View tab on the top. Now click on uh, the option which says Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Click on that. And then scroll down a little bit. The next option is hide extensions for non-file types. You need to uncheck this. If you uncheck this, you will be able to see the extension of that uh, of all the files. This is very important because it will allow us to understand whether uh, what is the extension of that particular file and if it is a good file or if it is an infected one. The next option is hide protected operating system files. Now, by default, operating system files are hidden inside your computer. This is for your safety, just to make sure that you don't accidentally remove the operating system files from your computer. But most of the infections, once it gets inside the computer, it hides inside the operating system file folders. So you need to make sure that you are able to see the operating system files so that you will be able to see the uh, infected files which are hiding inside the operating system files. So uncheck this. You will be given a warning like this. Just click on yes. Then click on apply. Then click on OK. The next step is to check the host file inside your computer. Click on Start, click on Run, and in the Run window, type Drivers and hit Enter. Now, inside the Drivers folder, you can see there is a folder etc. Open it. Inside the etc folder, you can see there is a file, Host File. Just double click on it. It will ask you which program you would like to open this file with. You need to select Notepad and then click on OK. Now this is how a typical host file looks like. Here what you need to do is you need to check whether there is any corrupted entries over here. Say for example, um, there is an entry over here right now. I just copy pasted it. Uh, now what this does is this is asking the computer just in case if any user try to go to this particular website, they will be redirected to this particular IP address. Now, in some cases, uh, the issues, the browser redirection is not caused by the Google redirect virus. It might be because of a corrupted um, entry inside the host file. So in order to make sure that the host file is not responsible for this issue, you need to make sure the, uh, the corrupted entries is removed from the host file. So right now here there is a corrupted entry, just remove it. After removing those corrupted entries, just click on save and then close this window. The next step is to do an IE optimization. Now click on the link below in order to do an IE optimization. If you're not able to see any link below this video, uh, go to my website and there you can find the information for how to do an IE optimization. By doing an IE optimization, we are making sure that the Internet Explorer is not responsible for the Google redirection issue. Once the Internet Explorer optimization is done, go to your website and check if the issue is fixed. Now, if the issue is fixed, you don't have to proceed further. But if the issue is still not fixed, then you need to move to the next step. The next step is to check a file ntbtlog.txt. Now, in case of Google redirect virus, it is very important that we check the ntbt log file. In order to enable that file, you need to click on Start, click on Run. In the Run window, type msconfig and hit Enter. 
it will open up the system configuration window now here click on the boot option and inside the boot option there is an option which says boot log select that option and then click on apply and then click on ok in Windows XP this window might look a little bit different but there you will have an option for this boot log file you need to click on that option and then click on apply then click on ok then you need to restart the computer now after restarting the computer you need to check the ntbt file the ntbt file is usually located inside the windows folder and in most computers you will have the windows operating system installed installed inside the c drive so open the c drive you will have the windows folder open it and yes I have this ntbt log.txt file located here. Now I need to open that file. So this is how a ntbt file looks like and you can see there are a lot of entries. Now these are the entries of drivers or system files which are loaded inside the operating system when you boot your computer. Now you can see that it says loaded driver and you can see uh, system root. System root is actually the folder where you install the operating system. So in this case, that is in my computer, it is the C drive. Inside the C drive, the Windows folder. So the system root is the C drive Windows folder. Now inside the system uh, Windows folder, system32, and this is the file name. So these are the files which are loaded in your operating system when you boot the computer. Now if you scroll down, you can see there are some entries which says did not load driver. That means the operating system did not load that particular file, so you don't have to worry about it. I mean, if it is not loaded, that means it is not responsible for this issue. Now, the next thing is, out of this huge list of files, you need to find which is the infected file. Now, it might sound a little bit difficult, but actually it's very easy. Now you can see that there are a lot of files here. What you need to do is check for a suspicious looking file. Let's say I have a file here which says vdrvroot.sys. I just copy that file name. And the easiest way to check if it is a genuine file or if it is an infected file is by using Google. So open uh, your internet browser and then open Google. Just uh, copy that file name here, click on search and just go through the information here. Just by looking at this information here, it is very clear that this is actually a good file. Um, it says the virtual drive router, uh, root virtual drive emanator. Uh, I'm really not sure what this file is all about, but then I'm sure that this is something related to a genuine file and uh, this, this is not responsible for creating this issue. Now, I'll get back to the NTBT file now. I'll just scroll down and here I have a, another entry. Now this looks suspicious because you can see that this particular file, it's the file name itself is, uh, it's, a, it's a huge one. And again, you, it looks like it has inserted a set of random numbers and letters for this particular file name. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this per file name. Again, open Google paste it here and click on search. Now look at the search result. You can see that there are a lot of entries here and just by looking at this search result, it's all these articles are talking about the Google redirect virus or how to remove this virus. You can see that my article is also listed here. So everything is pointing towards that this particular file, it's not a good file. So that means this per file, this is an infected file. Now again, if you scroll down, I have created another entry here. Now you can see that again, this, this should be another um, infected file because it starts with an underscore, first of all. And again, just like the previous file, again, this is uh, the file name is uh, large. And then again, it looks like it, it has put a set of random numbers and letters for this file name. So what I can do, what I need to do is copy this file name.
and click on search. So again, if you search for this information, again, you can see there are a lot of entries. Uh, I mean, the search results say that, you know, it has something to do with TDSs or some sort of infection. So definitely this is something related with some infections. So now you know that this is again an infected file. Now come back to NTBT file. Now what you need to do is, First of all, we understood that these two entries are infected files. And the next thing that you need to know, uh, know is where exactly this file is located. It is inside the system root, which is my C drive Windows folder. Inside the Windows folder, System32 folder. Inside that, the drivers folder. And then inside that particular folder, you have this infected file. Open the drivers folder because this particular file is located inside the drivers folder. So I can just click on start, click on run. Now you need to delete the file. Now there are two ways by which you can remove the file. Either you can just right click on it, just, uh, just delete it directly. But most of the times you may not be able to do that because these sort of files won't allow you to um, delete it directly. So you might have to use the command prompt in order to remove this infected file. So in order to do that, click on start, go to run. In the run window, just uh, type the command CMD and hit enter. It will open up a black screen like this. Now the command for uh, removing the uh, file is uh, del, D-E-L, and give a space and then you need to specify the location where the infected file is located. So in this case, it is inside the C drive. So C colon slash. Now inside the Windows folder, uh, I don't have to type Windows as such. I can just type WIN, then press the tab key. It will automatically fill the rest of the file name. Then again, give a slash. Then inside the Windows folder, it is system32. So I'll just type system and just type hit uh, tab key. It says system. No, uh, this is not the location I want. So I again press the tab key once again. Now I got the system32. Now again, you give slash. Now just type drivers, driver query, tab. Yeah, now I got the drivers folder. Now again slash. Now we know that the name of the file starts with H8. So I'll just type H8 and then press tab. Now here you have the infected file. Now what you need to do is um, just hit enter. So once again, let me confirm that. You, you just need to give the command del, then give the location where that infected file is located. And after that, just hit enter. I hope you might have noticed that the file is uh, deleted after executing the command. Now, there is one more infected file in the same location, so you can just do the same thing. You, uh, use the same command and use that uh, command in order to remove this file as well. And after executing that command, you need to restart the computer. After restarting the computer, open Internet Explorer or your web browser and check if the issue is fixed. If the issue is still not fixed, there is a possibility this uh, infected file might be located in multiple locations inside your computer. So uh, you can just uh, copy the first few letters of that infected file, copy it, and then open the registry by clicking on start, run, and type the command reg edit, reg edit. Hit. This will open the registry editor. Now click on edit, click on find. Now put that file name here, the first few letters of that infected file and then click on find next. So now you can see after searching the registry, you have the infected file listed here. Now uh, it says that um, you have the file name here and uh, it shows the location where this file is infected file is located. Just uh, use the command prompt, go to that location, just like uh, what we did before. Uh, use the del command in order to remove this infected file from uh, the location C drive windows. 
now click on edit once again and just click on find next so that click on find next now click on edit and once again click on find next so now it will search for any more infected file in any other location so continue this process till you search the entire registry completely finally the search is complete now you can see that it says uh, finish searching through the registry so there are no more entries of that infected file anywhere else inside the registry uh, now there is one more infected file here underscore you can just copy that file name um, repeat the same thing you know click on edit click on find then click on paste and then click on find next and search for that infected file again in the registry so after searching through the registry it says uh, finish searching through the registry and there are no more infected files so now you uh, you need to restart the computer so after restarting the computer now check if uh, the, if the issue is fixed now this is how you manually remove the google redirect virus now if the issue is still not fixed there is one more thing that you can do click on start click on run and in the run window type drivers and hit enter and here you will get the list of all the driver files in your computer the sys files on your computer now you need to look for a file which which is atapi.sys now you can see this file over here atapi.sys now the size of the file is uh, 22 kb in my computer which is quite normal but uh, i have seen scenarios wherein in in case if you have the google redirect virus the atapi.sys file it might be more than 200 300 or 400 kb maybe more than that so if you have an abnormal file si file size for this particular file atapi.sys that this particular file is infected and that is why you are having the google redirect virus uh, a solution for this is um, replacing the atapi.sys file by copying that uh, uh, the original file from your operating system disk copy that to this location and that will fix the issue or else you can also search for this file on the internet download it from the uh, website which offer this particular file and copy it over here that will also help you and fix this issue but let me remind you this is very very risky there is a possibility I would always say that there is a 50-50 chance that um, after replacing that file your computer might crash or it may not so you need to make sure that you take a backup of all the all the files important files you have the operating system disk with you and then replace the file this way we can ensure that uh, just in case even if your computer crash you have the backup just in case if you are not able to fix the issue by following the troubleshooting steps mentioned in this video uh, I would suggest uh, please visit my website in this link and I have mentioned a professional service which is very good in removing Google redirect virus. They have a very good record in fixing these sort of issues. Uh, they just ra run a tool on your computer which will get rid of the infection completely. Uh, also I feel that uh, what they charge for the service is much cheaper than what you might end up paying for a tech shop and I hope you will be able to fix the issue by contacting them. If you find this video informative, please feel free to share this with your friends, colleagues or your relatives. Um, Google Redirect Virus has infected a lot of computers all around the globe and maybe just by sharing this information, the people who are infected, they might be able to uh, get the information and they, they can try it on their computer and fix the issue on their own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have a like button at the bottom of this video, please click on that. I wish you all good luck. Thank you.